Somebody called me a Ravens rooster today. <laughs> and I was like, I don't even know. Like, what am I supposed to do with that comment? I don't know if it was supposed to be an insult. Maybe it was a mistake. I was just lost about that one. But anyway, team keep it clean. As Ravens fans, there is not much that we all collectively agree on. Except that we want the Ravens to win and we want the Ravens to win some more. But besides that, we each have opinions that differ and differ a lot. And there ain't nothing wrong with that. It's a good thing. It's what makes being a football fan so much fun. Because we all have that same vision, but we're just looking at it through different lenses. But today, we're going to go over something that I think most Ravens fans would actually all agree on. And that is, whoa, buddy, first a word from our sponsor. It's July, so I know a lot of y'all have been going on your summer vacations and going on different trips here and there. But what better way to make the most out of your trip by still eating right. You can stick to your goals with premium, ready to eat meals featuring ingredients such as broccoli, leeks, asparagus, and, and plenty more. Treat yourself to over 34 weekly restaurant menu items such as bruschetta shrimp risotto, green goddess chicken, and grilled steakhouse filet mignon. Ready in just two minutes. You looking for something this summer that's calorie conscious? Then you could try Factor's dietitian approved delicious calorie smart meals that have around or less than 550 calories per serving. Now me and my family, we love traveling. But when you travel away from home, then you got to spend a lot of money on food. But if you have Factor, you can cut down on eating out, cut down trips to the grocery store, and you can cut down on cooking so you have so much more time to do the fun stuff outside. And they offer you a widespread of options to help you stick to your goals. And they make doing that really easy. You know what? Speaking of easy, let me show you just how simple it is to make a Factor meal. You see that? It's, it's so simple. So I know now you want to find out how you can order your own Factor, right? Of course you do. So head to Factor75.com or click the link below and use code ENGRAVEN50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. Again, head to Factor75.com or click the link below and use code ENGRAVEN50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. We're just trying to help you get right, baby. Ain't you no know just what I mean. You two team keep it clean. Team Keep It Clean, what's going on? It's St. Raven here with another video. And in today's video, the one thing that I think most Ravens fans would all agree on would be this list that we're getting ready to go over of the top tight ends in the NFL. Now, before we get into this list, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on so you do not miss not one single thing. Because I don't want nobody being left on the outside. I want y'all to all be on the inside, all be able to see what's going on and whatnot, keep up with everything, especially when the season rolls around because... The rookies are reporting next week on the 18th. And then the following week, the veterans are reporting. So we're going to have a full training camp. So, like, we're, we're, we're literally right there. Y'all thought, like, I know it's been slow season and whatnot, but it goes by so fast. Thanks to all of y'all. But anyway, this list listed the top 10 tight ends in the NFL. And let's get right into it. Number one, who else do you think it is but... Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey from the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, he, Y'all already know Travis Kelsey. The man is like a big wide receiver. Uh, he's shifty. He got some good moves. He got great hands. He always making plays. I mean, he is in such a great situation for tight ends because they have a coach, a coordinator, well, previous coordinator. I don't know about the new one now. I'm sure it, it'll be just fine. But they had a good combination of coaching that just – they exploit any kind of defense. They attack it. They make weapons out of everybody, and they do it so consistently. Um, Patrick Mahomes is that guy. Travis Kelsey is also that guy at the tight end position. So no arguments there. We all give it up to Travis Kelsey. Shout out to him. Now, number two is George Kittle from the San Francisco 49ers. And this right here, honestly, I think – if you talk to the right person, I think somebody could actually throw Mark Andrews right here, too. Like, right, right here is where it could be like, oh, well, hey, Mark Andrews do the same thing. And Mark Andrews is healthier as well. So I don't know that, buddy. But George Kittle is nice. We know George Kittle is nice. Physical tight end. Again, a playmaking tight end. He, he, he has been doing his thing for the 49ers for a while now. All right, and then number three. That's where they put Mark Andrews. 
So again, I think number two and three, they could be interchangeable. Now, I know the thing with Mark Andrews, I know what a lot of people say, oh, he don't show up in the big games. I know that has been a thing that people will say for a while now. Um, and with Mark Andrews, we're going to see, man. We, 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 we're going to see how this year goes. We're going to see just how the Ravens do overall. I think this year really sets Mark Andrews up nice. Uh, the way that the Ravens have attacked the wide receiver position, I think that helps Mark Andrews that much more. Because I think with Mark Andrews, um, while he's going to make his place, I think his yardage actually could go down a bit, but the playmaking will still be there because all eyes won't be on Mark Andrews. But that's the thing. For the past couple seasons, all eyes have been on Mark Andrews, and he still continued to perform. He still continued to put up good numbers. He still continued to do his thing for this Baltimore Ravens offense. But now, all eyes won't be just strictly on him. So that'll, that'll allow him more freedom. That'll allow him to do more. So I'm excited for Mark Andrews. I mean, we're excited for Mark Andrews every season, but this season is different because the Ravens actually have more. They have more quality outside of Mark Andrews, so that'll help him. So let's see why they ranked him number one, two, three. Again, I feel like with this list, it that number two and three spot, you could switch it if you wanted to, but this is fine. So it says uh, his highest ranking was two. His lowest ranking was actually out of the top 10. 27 years old, and last year his rank was number one, two, three, four. It says Andrews is one of the most well rounded skilled players in the league and produces when the Ravens need him most. So it says uh, he has 25 red zone receiving touchdowns over the past four years, tied with Mike Evans for fifth in the NFL. Oh, I would like to know um, who the other four, who one through four with red zone touchdowns. Um, but yeah, Mark Andrews, well-rounded skill players, one of the most well-rounded skill players in the league. Now, Mark Andrews, I remember before with Mark Andrews, um, he was just strictly a receiving tight end. There was nothing wrong with that. That was early on in his career, but as time has went on, he's become more of a blocker. He's gotten bigger, he's gotten more physical, and he added being a quality blocker to his game. And that's important. That's very, very important uh, because the more you can do, hey, the more money you can make. And Mark Andrews was like, hey, I'm trying to cut the check. So, hey, I, l let me step up on my blocking game. And he's done just that. So, anyway, continuing. It says, oh, okay, I see. I, I, sh I should have read this before. You know what? No, I shouldn't have read this before. Because this is right on what I would say. It says, it says his blocking is elite, too. Oh, okay. I, see, I didn't even say that. But it says his blocking is elite, too. With Andrews ranking first in run block win rate out of 115 qualifying tight ends last year. I ain't know that. I, again, I know he stepped up his blocking, but I didn't know he stepped it up like that, like that. So, hey, they, again, number two and three, I, I think it could be interchangeable. That's just me. Though. Anyway, major matchup issue with his size, speed, athleticism, and route running ability. And NFL scouting director said, huge catch radius. A really easy guy to throw to. Always the primary guy for the defense. Yeah, that's true. Really easy to guy to throw to because Lamar, he, he ain't used to having anybody else to throw to like that. But anyway. This year will be different. But, yeah, Mark Andrews, he's interesting, man. Because Mark Andrews, there will be times where Mark Andrews, he will make the most crazy, insane, wild catches that you will ever see. He will make some of the most acrobatic, behind his back, why he getting flipped, why he getting knocked out by a defender. He will make those catches. But then there will be some times when none of that stuff is happening. Well, he's not being hit. He's not being no contact, and he'll drop it. Now, my thing is, hey, as a receiver, as a tight end, as a pass catcher, you're going to have drops. I Me, mean, I'm not somebody that trips off of drops like that. My thing is, as long as you make a lot more plays than you miss, I'm cool with the drops. You, I think it's unfair to expect perfection out of these guys because they're not they're the human beings. They're human beings. Um, and when they make a mistake, it's like, okay. Like, think about you on your job. Do you do your job perfectly every single day? No, you don't. We don't. I don't. I know I don't. None of us do. We make mistakes. So with Mark Andrew, I know people, oh, he gets paid to catch a football. He should catch a football. He should catch every football. If he has a drop, okay. He got a drop. And it, it can be frustrating. Like, us as fans, I know we get frustrated. Like, oh, he really dropped that. Imagine how he gets frustrated. Imagine how he feels. But 
Mark Andrews, like I said, he makes a lot more plays than he misses. So when he does have the drops, I'm like, okay, we know he's going to make up for it. Now, one thing with Mark Andrews, and we've said this a lot before in the past, and we will continue to say it in the future, that it's best when he drops early in the game. When he drops early on in the game, you ain't got to worry about him no more. You ain't got to worry about him dropping no more. When he gets that early drop out his way, then he ain't dropping nothing for the rest of the game. So that's the thing about him. Anyway, continuing. Says, though Andrews' production dropped from 6.3 catches per game in 2021 to 4.9 last year, the Ravens believe injuries at wide receiver loom large there. Defenses send extra defenders Andrews' way. Yes. Yeah. All their other receivers got hurt. So it's like, all right, hey, just, just, just cover Mark Andrews and we'll be straight. Because Bateman got hurt. Duvernay got hurt. Uh, and then from there, it was like, oof. Man, I don't even really want to think about it like that last year. But anyway, yeah, so we understand why his production dropped. But now, see, this year, and I did talk about I, I could see his production dropping this year. But I, I think his overall yardage may drop a little bit. But I think his average will be higher. So if that makes sense to you. Um, cause I think the volume, the, again, the volume of the, of the amount of catches and stuff that he'll get will be less in my opinion. Um, but the yardage could still be on par, but the, the average I think will be higher. Cause I think it'll be less opportunities, but big opportunities. If you understand what I mean. Anyway, number four is Dallas, uh, go there from the, uh, Philadelphia Eagles. Number five, Darren Waller, who I think got traded to the Giants. There have been trade talks around Darren Waller for years. Um, but now they finally did it this offseason. I forget all about that one so much. Uh, number six, TJ Hogginson from the Minnesota Vikings. Number seven, Kyle Pitts from the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, number eight, Evan Ingram from the Jacksonville Jaguars. Mm. Came a long way, huh? Came a long way. Because this guy, everybody would just talk about his drops when he was with the, the Giants. There we go, the Giants. Now he with the Jacksonville Jaguars. It's like, oh, a breath of fresh air. He just wanted to be in Florida. That's all it was. He just wanted to be in Florida. He went to Florida, and he reinvented himself. So that, that's all it is. Number nine, Pat Fryermuth from the Steelers. Uh, and number 10, the old Dawson Knox from the Buffalo Bills. Okay. And some honorable mentions. Uh, Dalton Schultz from the Texans. I forget that he went there. He used to play for the Cowboys. Um, so he just went right up the road. Uh, David Njoku from the Browns. Yeah, he's been, he been solid, man. David Njoku been solid. Those Ravens fans know. Even though I remember, was it last year or the year before he last, where there was a, a catch that he had in the end zone, but it was really a draw. I think it was actually in Baltimore, too, I believe. But it was an incompletion, and they ruled it a touchdown. I was like, really? What? That, that was a drop, man. I, I know y'all will know which game I'm talking about, but he dropped it. He dropped it, and they would call it a complete. Anyway. Noah Fan from the Seahawks, uh, Tyler Higby from the Rams, Hunter Henry from the Patriots, and Cole Komet from the Bears. But yeah, man, I, I think um, after going over that list, we, we went over quite a few lists this offseason. We still got some more, too. Um, but after going over that list, I think that that is one where every single Ravens fan will agree. Let me know how y'all feel. I love y'all, team. Keep it clean. I appreciate you. Make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And on that note, we are out. Yeah, this feels like a dream. And you know just what I mean. You see my boy, he like gotta made it, how to made it. Boy, he's a fan and he like the Ravens, like the Ravens. And you know just what I mean. You too, team, keep it clean. You see my boy, he like gotta made it, how to made it. Boy, that's my homie, ain't that right and graven, right and graven. Shout out to Graven.